What is good, boxing fans and gamers? It's your boy, Fighting His Finest, the Sofa Commentator, back with another boxing review. Don't have the crew behind me this time, but we got a couple of fights to talk about tonight. Most importantly, the main event of the Evelyn and Miguel Cotto versus Delvin Rodriguez. I was rooting for Rodriguez, gotta be completely honest. Been watching my dude on ESPN's Friday Night Fights for a while now. He won his last two fights, as you guys probably heard, by way of knockout, I believe. And then he gets knocked out by Miguel Cotto in the third round. In a fight, I expected a little more from him, but Cotto just looked like a possessed man since he stepped in the ring. When the guys on the announcers was like, oh, he just looks relaxed. There was something about Miguel Cotto that you can tell that was different. I think he's back to his original form. And most people would be like, oh, Delvin Rodriguez isn't a quality opponent. Delvin Rodriguez isn't, you know, basically he's a nobody. But I got to tell you guys, Delvin Rodriguez is actually a pretty good fighter. And Miguel Cotto just took the fight to him and, and just put him out of his misery in that third round. Stalking him around the ring, throwing that left hook to the body. He rocked him at the end of the second round with a left hook, right hook combination. And that really dazed Delvin Rodriguez. And you can tell back when he was in this corner, you know, he just wasn't the same person who entered that ring. Like, it was just going to be one of those fights where you can just tell disaster was to come about. So, yeah, also the Terrence Crawford fight that took place earlier. Uh, you, we don't even need to remember the other guy's name because he, that dude was scared to throw punches. I understand how talented um, Terrence Crawford is. If you guys seen him under the Mikey Garcia uh, card last time, uh, he looked really impressive there too. And as they say, without Broner there, there's nobody to really challenge him in the 135 division. So I'm expecting him to get a title shot really soon as well. And then that Klitschko fight, man. Just a, a terrible clinch, uh, just a, a clinch fest. You can't even call him Klitschko anymore. It's Klinchko because all he did was just pull the guy down by his neck and clinch the entire fight, which was uh, just a horrible display of, of boxing. That wasn't even boxing. I, I don't even know what to say. That looked like wrestling or, or UFC or something. Like, you don't grab a guy in boxing. The point is to use your fist to hit the other guy. And, you know, put those punches together, put combinations together, and, you know, defend yourself. But I don't know. I get, it looks like you can have a good, be extremely big and just have a good referee that's paid on your corner. And he'll never take a point away from you. If it was me, Klitschko would have been disqualified and that match would have went to, uh, Jesus, I forget how to say his name. But, yeah. So that's basically the night of the fights for Saturday on October, I want to say, 5th. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this review, leave a comment. If you guys watched the fights, let me know in the comment section below. Who did you root for? Who did you want to win? Leave all that good stuff. This is your boy Fighting His Finest, the Sofa Commentator, and I'm off this. Peace.